Hi guys, so today we'll be solving another problem called longest substring without repeating characters. Now let's see what this question says. The question says that we have been given a string s and we have to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Now let's see with let's see it with an example. So we have a string called a, b, c, a, b, c, b, b. Okay, so if we start uh, our um, start referencing of the string, so we'll see we find the first string, first substring with a uh, length one without any repeating element. So first will be one length. Then we further go, we find another uh, substring, but the length is two, and we have no repeating characters. Then again we go for C. And we again find the length of the substring is 3 with no repeating characters. Then we go further and we find A. But it uh, violates our condition of like repeating, no repeating characters. So we have a duplicate element here. Because A is already there in our substring. Then we further go. And we again find B which is already there in our substring. Then we find uh, uh, go further and we find C which is already there in our substring. And we go further, we find B already there in the substring and the last element B. So how we can uh, tackle this problem better is uh, we'll be using sliding window technique. Now how we can do that is, so we'll be creating windows. So we have A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. So we'll start our window from A, right? So uh, once we find, uh, have the window A and we'll be using set to store this uh, window uh, elements so that we have track of all the elements which are not duplicates and we have this set uh, stores unique elements. So uh, first we'll try to save this using the window technique and then we'll uh, code it using set. So how we can do that is we have A, we see what A is there which is not duplicate so it's not uh, which is not repeating so we'll further increase the size of our window so we have b now so this is our new window so then again we store the size of this window and it would be 2 then we further increase the size of our window which is 3 now the size of the window is 3 and this three elements are not repeating so our condition is fulfilled now when we go further we see we have a repeating element a so we'll try to uh, like decrease the element of the window because this doesn't satisfy the condition of our uh, condition of non-repeating element because a is already there in our window so we will delete this and now the size of our window will be this right now we further go to b so again b is already there in our window so we will delete this from our window so our window will be of size this now we further go and we increase the size of our window and we see that c is already there so this will again be deleted from our window and we have this window a b c we further go and create a increase the size of our window and we see that b is already there and then we decrease the size of the window by one again and we have b c b now we further go we further go and see another b so this would be deleted and so our last window size would be this but it is already having a repeating element so we will be deleting c and then we will have this uh, b since uh, this would be stored in a set so the, uh, it would have single b at the end but this is how we do it like if the condition is not fulfilled then we will decrease the size of our window and increase the size of our window first we'll increase and then we'll decrease the size of our window so we'll be doing this using set so let's see how we can do this using set now 
we'll create a set first let's set equals to new set we'll uh, track the size of our window using left variable from zero and then we'll store the maximum length in a variable max length we'll run the loop from zeroth position of string to the last element so we'll do let i equals to zero i is less than s dot length i plus plus now what we will do is uh, we will check if our set is having s of i or not right so if it is there then we will delete uh, delete that element from our window so how we can do this set dot delete s of left because this is a position of the first element of that window right and then we'll increase the size of the window from 0 to 1 right we'll also store the values in the set until we found a duplicate element so it would be s of i and then we'll be finding the maximum length of the set set dot size and then we'll return max length so let's try to run test cases for this so three of the test cases pass now we'll see another test cases yeah great so all the test cases pass now if you have a, a better solution or an optimized solution for this question then you can comment down below if you like this video give it a like because it pushes the youtube algorithm to push out to more people and thank you for watching this video if you want the solution i have put down in the description so do check it out uh, if you don't understand the solution thank you for watching